What is up everybody? Okay, so today we're gonna go through some two massive updates to Reblium 102 and um, they're awesome. Higher texture resolution maps and our kit working. So uh, I went through the basics. There's a couple of tweaks, a couple of things here and there. They're old maps, so looking all right, but the face still needs to change with this. But otherwise some nice little tweaks throughout. Uh, a little bit faster, a little bit cleaner. And it's looking good. I'm not going to go through all uh, the things because there's not a ton done there. The two major features right, are the texture resolutions and the ARKit. So download Live Link. Here's the settings that you need to set on your Live Link app. Make sure subject name is Reblium. Um, link your IP address and you're good to go. Click the face tracking and bam, we have them face tracking. Now mine got stuck a few times. Make sure you're in the neutral position. Um, but mine got stuck a few times, but it also got stuck in Unreal. So it's not the program. There's something on my side. Um, but there you have it. You get ARKit within Reblium Studio. Just set up your app just like you would in Unreal Engine. And set it to ARKit, not MetaHuman. And bam, A for away. Uh, so saving out your avatar is some new things. You've got material merge now, click it off. So all materials aren't merged into one. Now you get a separate material for everything. And all of them are 4k materials, which is awesome. It's wicked. You can switch on our kit now. Uh, I don't know if meta humans work yet, but it doesn't matter. So you can export as an FBX or if you want to bring into unreal export your avatar, just up there, give it a name. All right. I'm going to call it. Bob, Bob's, okay, make it different, confirm, let it run through everything, and you'll get your file, okay, it'll ask you where to save it, bam, now, when you go into Unreal Engine, this is the old one we had from the last update, now I'm just going to bring in the new one, all you got to do is, uh, go find your, your DHS file, DHS file, <laughs> give it a name, uh, over here, or why don't let you import, Okay, I'm trying to import, don't know what's wrong. Okay, so name field, put in the name. Okay, I'm going to call it Bob's. Okay, no, I'm just going to give it like the, the name for what it is. And import it, it'll do its usual stuff, which is all good. Bring it in, and there it is. You can go look for it, V102 is what I named it. You can also search right here if you don't find it, V102. Now I've got my blueprint, I can drag it in. And let's see the difference from the last update to now, okay? So this is pretty interesting, and this starts putting it into something usable for main characters, for close-ups, for all that. Look at that, materials for all the objects. Isn't that beautiful? Now... Just to show you, they are coming in at 4K, which is beautiful. So now you got a 4K face, which is great. Everything else is 4K too. So well done on that one. That is one that was vital to have. And now we have it. All right, Ari. Ari's not happy. Ari wants his money. Right, let's have a look at the differences here. Uh, you can clearly see that we get like better results. I'll show you in a sec little bit closer love so we can have a look at the uh the differences look ah, 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 ah. so you can see especially around the nose area the lips uh that brow look at that look how big they are on the left hand side look how nice and small they are on the right so definitely some better results look at that mm. so i'm really happy with that uh, yeah, definitely. Like a, uh, I mean, you do have to go close. There we go. Look at that. You can see that. You can see the detail, and you can see there. Definitely a difference. Look, <laughs> this is mainly for artists who want these crazy close-ups. The other thing is the, definitely the body. Look at that. This is the old. Look at that. This is the new. Look, ah, 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 
are. So I'm definitely seeing. Look at the skirt on the left, skirt on the right. Just the, just the. Okay, not much detail on the one on the right, but you could definitely see the resolution. Look at that. That's the legs. Look at that. That's a massive difference. Massive difference. These older merged maps, these they're still great for NPCs, but now you've got the option, which is awesome. And this makes all the difference. Look at our shoes. Look at our shoes. That doesn't look too high race, does it? But look on the side, Harry. Look at that. Each stitching is beautiful. But now you get the resolution, so that's great. Compared to the old one, look at it, man. It's night and day. Oh, popping out there, Reblium. Okay. Um, but definitely a massive difference, man. So now you've got export materials for each individual object or not. So now in Reblium, you can find the Unreal SDK. Just follow the, the instructions or whatever. Download it. Download the sample project, download the SDK for Unreal. It's very easy to install. It tells you all here. In my last video, I show you how. Just look up Reblium, whatever. And now for the sample project, you need that R kit, but I want to use it in my own project, right? So that's easy. Download like the, the sample scene. All good. All right. You can find it on Reblium. Uh, and you can download the SDK there and everything else. So now what you're going to do is open up the sample scene. You're going to go into the content, take the assets, the assets folder. There we go. It's got the R kit and whatever. Take the assets and drag it into the content folder of your project that you're using. That's all you got to do. Bam. And drag it in. There's the assets. Okay. Now you're sort of, you, you, you set up with the R kit in your current project that you want to use. Now all you got to do is select select your blueprint, Ari. Just to show you, here's the assets, here's the R kit. Select your blueprint, double click this R kit. There we go, that R kit. Say yes, you want to find new bones for it and select the skeleton that your avatar is using. Mine's using Bob's skeleton. So that's the one I'm using. And once you've done that, you've added R kit, boom. It's as simple as that. The last thing you got to do is select your character, open up the blueprint, and and right here, just go to your skeletal mesh, go to the raw and sign love, uh, and take your animation class. Just typing arcit and select the arcit. Bam! That's it. You're done. Uh, compro well, well, compile it. And if your app's set up already, straight away, you should be seeing that our kit is working inside of Unreal Engine on your avatar, which is pretty cool. Now I had stop and starting here too, but that's on my side. I'm positive because it's on both of them. Anyway, I hope this helps. It's pretty cool. Some nice updates, right? So now you can use our kit really well inside of Unreal Engine before. I think it was fine. But now I actually finally got it working. You can use Arctic within Rebden Studio just to test a few things. Uh, and 4K textures for all your objects. Awesome update. Now we start to see that it's a feasible option, right? Look, I really like the studio. I'm really rooting for them. Uh, let's see where this goes. Uh, at the moment now it's starting to become pretty damn cool for me there are some features i still want definitely and we'll go through a whole video of what would be great to see definitely more options in creating your avatars and things like this um metahuman use i don't I, they've got a metahuman button there what is it what is it um and maybe better documentation you know <laughs> all right guys uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you have a great weekend and speak to you later. Bye, guys.